Happy Saturday morning. This is Returning to Life Wayne 69 coming to you from his backyard suburban food forest. As you can see, it's a little bit of an overcast. Um, we're probably going to get some scattered rain showers again. The humidity is high, but I'm getting enough of a sun once it comes out the clouds. I decided to use this solar oven. It's important to uh, learn how to prepare food alternatively if the grid, if the power grid goes down. So I got this small solar oven on that big box store and I uh, decided to put some uh, food in it and see how it, well it cooks. And right now I can tell you, I can smell the food that's cooking inside of it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it out here. When you're doing this, be careful because this is hot through this cap and I can feel the heat escaping already let's slide this off you can see that you can see that coming off there I'm just gonna reach in there pull this out And that's hot. That is hot, so be careful when you're doing this. Do that. I got two of these in here, but we'll just open this one. And that's a little warm. And look at there. I just cooked some breakfast sausage. <laughs> Take a bite of this. Mmm, that's good. It's nice and hot. <laughs> so this thing works. And this is on a uh, partly overcast day. I can imagine if the sun was all the way out, not covered by the clouds, this would really be cooking. I mean, now here comes the sun. The sun is going in and out. So, I mean, these things work and uh, work well. Now the sun is all the way out, coming out of the clouds. So I'm gonna put this back on. I'm gonna let the other one cook a little bit longer. So this is an awesome way to prepare the, your food if the grid goes down or if you're camping without any, uh, without any propane or electricity, just the sun itself. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and I'll see you soon. Time to finish this. I'm out. The next time.